Dante Jones, you on something. You're coming over here talking about, hmm, Stephen Curry is, he's close to top 10, but he's not necessarily top 10. He's more so like top 15. All right, I'll put him at 11 or 12. You smoking because Stephen Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. He is the two-time MVP. He broke the three-point record with two, uh, 402 threes in one season. But you're telling me that he is behind John Wall, Anthony Davis, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, um, Jimmy Butler. Really? That's just, that's off. You got issues. You were on the Cleveland, Clav uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers team for two seasons. The first season that you were on the team, hey, you got a ring. But guess what? How many games did you play? Seemed like you played about maybe four or five games. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many games you played because I just know you didn't play that many. I'm just wondering... And last year, you you guys lost, all right? So I'm trying to figure out how do you have a guy who last year in the NBA playoffs averaged 28 points, who almost averaged almost averaged a triple-double in the playoffs and also the finals. That's just crazy to me. The guy, the guy is a freaking monster. He's a he's a beast. Like when people talk about talk down about him so much, man, it's, it's just ridiculous because this guy is a straight up monster. You can't. No one can stop Stephen Curry. Nobody. It's just like Kyrie Irving. Nobody can stop him. Nobody can stop Curry, man. Nobody can stop Westbrook. I mean, it's the same thing. But you, you're saying that hey, he doesn't really play that well of defense. This guy, he led in steals. I don't know why people don't consider. D, uh, Steel's defense, that doesn't make sense to me. But people don't consider Steel's defense a lot of times. That is defense. Uh, I think he averaged probably two steals a game. Last year, he averaged 2.1 steals a game. This year, he averaged almost two points, uh, two steals a game. But I guess you're saying that, hey, he doesn't block. Well, the guy is 6'3". He doesn't jump that high. This guy's a freaking monster, man. From the stuff that he actually went through to get to where he is, this guy... He was a guy that came from Davidson College. Davidson. No one has ever heard of Davidson. Like, who's heard of Davidson, really? Except for probably people in that town. Nobody's heard of Davidson. This dude came from Davidson. He put him on the map. That's when people actually knew about Davidson, when he took them to the Elite Eight. The guy's a beast. Curry did that. Curry is the face. I say he's the face of the Warriors. People say that Kevin Durant is better than Curry. Okay, maybe because of his height. Other than that, Curry is the most important team uh, player on that team. He's more important than Draymond. I know you said that Draymond is more important than Curry, but that doesn't make sense to me. Sure, Draymond can play all five positions, but without Curry, that team fails. If Curry wasn't on the team, that team would still make it to the playoffs with KD. Would they make it to the finals? I don't know. Now, if Curry were on that team and Durant was off, would they make it to the finals? Yes, I definitely believe they will because they did it before. They can do it again. There's a big difference between Curry and Durant. Curry, he adds so much to that team. They built the team around him, uh, uh, the system basically around Stephen Curry. And also, I think the GM said that the reason why they are where they are right now is because of Stephen Curry. You can't be top 15 if you change the game. This guy changed the game. You can barely be top 10 and not and change the game. Stephen Curry has changed the game. So I can see why people saying, okay, LeBron's number one, Durant's number two. Um, I would put Curry number three. I would put Kawhi fourth. I would put Anthony Davis, uh, Davis fifth. And then you got Westbrook and Harden and, and all them. But to say that Stephen Curry is number 11 or 12, that's just off the rocker. I've never really seen you play basketball. And when you have, it wasn't that great. Pretty sure you did some stuff back in your career, but man, that, that that just doesn't make sense to me. But hey, everyone's entitled to a, to their opinion, right? And I'm giving mine right now. And that's how it is. But I, I guarantee this: this year, Curry, he's gonna bring it. They put him at uh, for the MVP slot this year. They put him at number well last season. I think he started at number two in the beginning of the season. He put him at, oh, okay, well, you know, he'd probably get the number two spot to win MVP. By the end of the season, they put him at number six because he didn't have as good a season as he did last year, which I beg to differ, and I know the reasons why he didn't have as good a season uh, as last year. This year, the prediction is he's number seven. He's a number seven spot. That doesn't make sense at all either. The guy, who is he? He's behind Giannis. 
the Greek freak. The guy is good. Don't don't get me wrong. The Greek freak is good. But I would definitely not put him in front of Stephen Curry or Westbrook because he, he's in front of Westbrook as well. Westbrook's number six. But hey, Dante Jones. I don't know what's going on, man. But hey, you, you, you probably got to rethink what you're saying. Because Curry's going to come and he's going to come hard this year. He really is. He's going to come hard this year. Durant's going to come hard this year. The Warriors are going to come hard this year because they know everyone's gunning for him. And they're going to be ready. Bet that.